is a giant fish tank. And over the next 30 days, it'll transform into a huge ecosystem for one of the rarest animals in the world. And at the end, we'll tour our new private island. Last year, I created an ecosystem for my axolotls Lucy and Lenny. It's teeming with life and they absolutely love it. I even turned my bathroom into a giant ecosystem. So today, we're building an even crazier one, thanks to our sponsor, Dragon Mania Legends. It's day one, and we have all of the supplies to build this tank. But first, we need to go to Dallas. Well, that was easy. This is Jake, a master axolotl breeder. He has hundreds of axolotls in his store. We're here to see one of the world's rarest axolotls. And here it is. This is a split mosaic axolotl. They also have one of the biggest axolotls. Wow. She's so cute. Axolotls come in so many colors and rarity. They look just like baby dragons. They're like real life superheroes. They can regrow limbs and even parts of their heart. Look at all these tiny babies. They're basically blind and they use special sensors on their skin to detect movement, like this wriggling worm. Just as we were leaving, this tiny one caught my eye. She was right at the back and I just had to bring her home. She's so cute. If security doesn't let her through, we're gonna have a huge problem really depends on who's working at the gate. It's an axolotl. They were super nice, so we're good to go. We're on our way back to Chicago, and I can't wait to get her home. Can you help me name her? Comment below. Back at the studio, I gently got our new friend settled into a quarantine tank. I'm gonna turn the light off so she can relax. And while she acclimates, let's build a miniature ecosystem. But first, can you spot these characters hidden somewhere in this video? Our giant ecosystem will mirror this one, with an island in the center and swimming space around the outside. I kind of messed up here. There's bubbles all through the scene. Our mini ecosystem wouldn't be complete without some stones, plants, and a mini tree. Now we're talking. This is too small for an axolotl, but it's perfect for my tiny fish. In Dragon Mania Legends, this island is covered in dense forests. So we're really gonna need to level this up for the real deal. Let's check in on our ecosystem under the microscope. Check this out. This is a water bear, also known as a moss piglet. They can survive extreme conditions for 30 years. Now the real challenge begins. We're gonna need way more acrylic if we wanna make a giant ecosystem. So while I go pick some up, Adam is feeding our new friend. So these little guys are night crawlers. They're wriggly worms and axolotls love them. She's starving after a big journey. She is so cute. It's time to get to work. I spent over $3,000 on this acrylic. There's no room for error. And all of this wood will make up our giant stand. When we're done, our ecosystem will weigh over a thousand pounds. That's more than a horse. I just hope her stand is strong enough to hold all of this weight. This is going to take a couple of days. So while we wait, let's explore the axolotl life cycle. Check out this tiny speck. Believe it or not, that is a tiny axolotl in that egg. And soon, it'll hatch, just like our baby dragons in the game. Then boom, we have our baby axolotl. And the next thing you know, they're in their teenage phase, complete with growing legs and these stylish gills. And finally, our adult axolotl, ready to take on the world and bond with us forever. Just like Lucy and Lemon, my little water dragon. And for a limited time, they can be your dragons too. In Dragon Mania Legends, you can hatch your own baby dragon, train and feed them, pet them, and even take them to battle. You can play with friends and family with over 900 dragons in the game, including a totally brand new custom dragon that looks just like Lucy and Lemon. And it's absolutely free on iOS, Android, and Windows Store. Just click the link in my description to download Dragon Mania Legends today. They're seriously so cute, so don't miss out. And we're done. Oh. Now we just have to build a oh. Well, it's really just an island. Real islands are made out of sand, so we're gonna use just that. It looks pretty good, but it crumbles under water pressure. Oh, man. This just isn't gonna work. Okay, okay, I've got it. We're gonna stack these rocks three feet high. This is way too unstable. I honestly don't know what to do. So I went back to the drawing board. 
I have these nifty pond boxes. Maybe we can use these to support the island. We have a small problem. This just looks like a ghost underneath the sheet. Real islands are made when magma rises in the ocean. That's why you find them in the middle of nowhere. Thankfully, ours will be home to some pretty cool creatures. Now, we just need some greenery to make it look like the real thing. My favorite are these flowers. Over the next hour, I planted these in and around our island. It's finally time to get our first inhabitants. These are bright yellow springtails who will get to work in the soil. And these are my personal favorites, dairy cow roly-polies. If you squint, they kinda look like real cows. See you later, guys. Soon, our axolotl will be patrolling the ocean, just like this dragon. When I got to the studio today, I wasn't impressed. I'm honestly so disappointed by how our stand looks. So I'm off to the hardware store while Adam overhauls the island. I'm gonna use this plywood to spice things up. I also grabbed some epic ecosystem green paint. This should do the trick. Back at the studio, Adam has made some exciting progress. I've been working on a huge waterfall. Uh, okay, that was terrible. Try this. Stop, stop. But after a few minutes, we got it working perfectly. We have a problem. These plants are getting lots of water, but these plants are already drying out. So I'm using this rain shower. This works great in my bathroom ecosystem, but my ceilings here are way too tall. Thankfully, I have this. Oh, wait a minute. This. And finally, we have rain. Look at the views you get if you're a tiny axolotl. I can't wait to see what our girl thinks of this place. It's time to fill up our fish tank. If this stand collapses, we lose two weeks of work. I'm really nervous. If the water leaks from any of these seeds, it's game over. Let's add the filter and cross our fingers. Good night. It's the next day and our tank is holding water. Just a few final touches to make this pop. Our wood to complete the stand, check. The stand is looking a little boring. That's more like it. And our glorious waterfall, check. It's time for our cleanup crew to get to work. It's time to add our axolotl. Look at her take her first tiny step. Just a few weeks ago, she was in Dallas, and now she has her very own ecosystem to explore. It's been about a week, and it now really looks like the lost world from the game. Check out the helicopter cam. Now this is a private island. She's been living large this last week. Look at her fat little belly. She eats like a pig. I can't wait for you to help me name her. See you soon. 